finance. I'll up. What is a cost-benefit analysis? Oh, fancy phrase, but uh, well, you use it all the time. The cost of retiling the bathroom, yeah, 1,500 bucks. Is the benefit of having nice, shiny, new, clean white tile worth the cost? Eh, meh, maybe next year. The trade-offs happen all the time in business and private life, like there's a cost to living in California of extremely high cost real estate, high taxes, state regulations, all kinds of other grief. Well, if there's a similar job in a cheaper state, is the cost of living in California still worth the benefit of 322 days a year of sunshiny skies. Well, at the corporate level, it works similarly. You can put in a new smelting factory to make anvils for cartoon characters to drop over cliffs. The cost of that new factory is 10 million bucks. It'll let you make anvils for $800 each instead of $1,000, i.e. a savings of 200 bucks per anvil. And that capital of 10 million bucks costs you 10% a year to rent or a million dollars plus, and it depreciates in value at eh, 500 grand a year for 20 years until it's it's worth zero. So you have a cost of building that cartoon anvil smelting factory of about a million bucks in interest and 500 grand in depreciation or about a million five a year. And yes, you would get to deduct essentially all of that against your taxes, assuming you had profits. So it's actually cheaper than these numbers. But start with the 1.5 million it costs you pre-tax for the benefit of having that factory. And you always start these things pre-tax because, well, you might not be running a profitable company in the first place, in which case you don't pay any tax taxes, in which case the tax deduction is, well, not really useful. Last year, you sold 5,000 anvils. At a savings of 200 bucks an anvil with this new smelted delted factory, you'd have annual savings then of 200 times 5,000 or a million bucks. Hmm. So the factory costs you about 1.5 million a year, yet its benefit to you is only a million. Well, the benefit here just is not worth the cost. But what if YouTube is launching a violent cartoons network and suddenly sales go to 8,000 anvils a year? And that $200 of savings per anvil now contributes $1.6 million in value to your company. Well, then particularly on an after-tax basis, assuming you're profitable and paying taxes, well, then the deal's probably worth doing all else being equal, like ignoring likely maintenance costs on the factory, insurance costs, and well, just risk, like risk that it blows up and kills a bunch of cartoon characters or, you know, simply doesn't work. The bottom line is that there is math behind the cost-benefit analyses like these, and it can be fancy. Yeah, okay, maybe not that fancy.